The Word of God encourages us not to be anxious about tomorrow, for tomorrow will take care of itself. Are you filled with doubts of what tomorrow will bring? Are you troubled and feeling hopeless about tomorrow? Receive God's word today of hope and assurance of a better tomorrow. You will be changed. Viewers, let us pray. Father, we thank you for your love, your love for us that is everlasting. I want to thank you because your love for us is indescribable. And we are grateful because we are products of your grace and mercy. On this broadcast this evening, minister to every heart. Touch our lives and cause every one of us to receive a Rima word from you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. I, I want to share with us this evening on what I've titled, Be Strong. So good evening once again and welcome to tomorrow. Be strong. What does it mean to be strong? It is the ability to demonstrate strength. It, so when you are strong, you are, you are capable of manifesting strength. You are operating in strength. And strength is the capacity for exertion or the capacity for endurance. So in strength, you are either exerting force or you are standing, enduring a, a, a form of opposition or resistance. So we can see that strength is two ways. The strength for, the strength against. We need both. We need strength to advance. We need strength to progress in life. We need strength to make impact. We also need strength to resist the adversary. We need strength to come against all that the devil or all that life may be throwing against us. Listen, opposition is part and parcel of life. You know, the Bible tells us in 1 Peter uh, chapter 5, let's quickly look at that, and verse 8 says, Be sober, be vigilant. Why? Because your adversary, the devil, goes upon like a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. L let's look at nature itself. When you're in your car, you're driving, or you're in a moving vehicle, if you stick your hands out of the window, you find that the breeze is against you. So that vehicle going forward was going through adversary, opposition, yet that motion, that forward motion continued. So in spite of the oppos opposition or the opposing winds, the vehicle is still going forward. So that is life for you. There is constant opposition. But the strength with which you are making motion should be greater than the strength of the opposition coming against you. When that happens, we can say you are strong. So God expects us to be strong. Now let, let's open our Bibles uh, to this. Listen, let me quickly say this. You cannot confront the adversary in your strength. You don't have the wisdom. You don't have the experience. You don't have the, the skills to confront the devil in your own strength, in your own mind. No, that can't happen. He's been around for far too long than you have been around. He knows so much more than you in your natural power and ability. But guess what? When we leverage the strength of Jehovah God, the one who created the devil, then we have an edge, we have an advantage over the devil. Let, let's see this. So the Holy Spirit is the strength of God or the might of God in us. Aha, even before we read the scripture, can I say this? The word strength has synonyms, firepower, force, might, energy, muscle, potency. All these are synonyms of strength. A child of God should have potency, muscle, might, firepower, you know, energy, what given by God in order to confront the devil. Okay, let's read now. Isaiah chapter 11, I want to read from verses 2 to 3. It's a prophecy talking about the Messiah and equating the spirit of the Lord upon the, with the Messiah because the Messiah is the anointed, and the anointing is the anointing of the Holy Spirit. So one and the same. From verse 2, Isaiah 11, And the Spirit of the Lord will rest on him, will rest upon the Messiah to come, Christ, because here Isaiah was prophesying. The Spirit of wisdom, number one, and understanding, number two. The Spirit of counsel, number three, and might, number four. Might, number four. Might, number four. The Spirit of knowledge, number five, and of the fear of the Lord, number six. And he will delight in obeying the Lord. He will not judge by appearance, nor make a decision based on hearsay. Judgment number seven. He is the spirit of might. We must leverage his might. Listen, we are to be strong in the might of the Lord. We can be strong in our own selves, but when we are strong in his own strength, when we are strong in his own might, we can come against every opposition, every plan, every agenda of the devil. Listen, when you are strong in the grace of God, your goods will be intact. Your lot will be secure. You will mount up continually with wings. You will not be deceived by the devil. See you tomorrow. God bless you. Bye-bye. We believe you have been blessed. 
Join us at 9 a.m. tomorrow at Vinebrand Church, Queen School Road, Apata GRA, for a life-changing experience in our glorious worship service. We are confident that with Jesus, your tomorrow will be better than today. Come now with us and we will do thee good. God bless you.